Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope you're doing good. Happy Lion's Gate 888. Truly, now we're crystallizing and turning into pure plasma liquid light, our natural state of beingness and that of all of reality, as we are shape shifting the hologram. Um, and it's here now. So I was guided to record this now before I before the energies get too intense. We have there will be a massive uptick in solar activity. So hmm, be ready, open, surrender now <laughs> to the divine plan. So whatever happens doesn't happen. Embrace that because that's what God wants to happen. And the more you can surrender to God's divine plan and stop fighting it and stop trying to control anything and get out of your head, you're there. You're in full flow state and this is your natural state of beingness. And I went much more into this in an over six hour long call um for the lion's gate the replay is now online um and i wanted to just give an update along with that if you still want to access this it's super powerful super powerful activation the call in itself it covered so much some of this can be found in the description of the event if you follow the event link um again in the description box you can find it of manifesting all new free worlds and it's us aligning with a consciousness of freedom of being our own true, unique version, real, raw, honest, authentic, of the unique God spark that we are, the God self. That's us activating our own blueprint beyond what anyone else wants us to be or tells us what's right and wrong. This is how blueprints get distorted and we're not supposed to be all the same. So everybody is different. And once you really get that... Sorry. Since I stopped the call, the cat's just been all over the place and just I've been busy for an hour with the cats. Anyway. <laughs> ah, um, what did I want to say? I don't know now. And it happened also in the call. So the energies are so intense. And also this was the final mind wiping, this activation that really will help you to align with this creator consciousness where you're fully transcending victim, victimizer consciousness, all of these storylines and fully... Align yourself with you have created everything and that's where you get to collapse and co-create realities from, from the still point of the zero point field of true divine love, neutrality, oneness. And what that looks like, and I've shared so much really practical application um, suggestions, examples throughout the call that really help you to apply this in everyday life. Okay, the stuff that really helps us ascend. So, but this truly like, I mean, there's been so much happening. So this is also why I wanted to share. And thank you again so much for those that took part in the call. I will still take part and help us amplify the field. This was really us removing the last few smudges uh, from the screen and igniting the whole new holographic platform of our new earth creation and all new free worlds because it's way beyond earth. This is a cosmic ascension undertaking reset. And this today was the final mind wiping clearing um and part of this full reset completing so any moment now all i can see is this false matrix is going to go into full collapse mode in a very tangible way this house of cards is fully collapsing positive and negative karma so to say is playing out and we are accessing the lands of milk and honey our feast of plenty there's going to be so much abundance and love and success showered upon us. It will be hard to take. There will be a lot of happy tears of relief of the nightmares over as well as it will be a bit overwhelming as well as I guess the new consciousness can take it because it's our natural state of beingness instead of being in fear and paranoia and states of psychosis and fearing parts of our own self, being in resistance of, which is the state of fear, running away from you know, all of these things are part of that. And when you blueprint your consciousness, your body is in fear, it's the opposite of where you want to be. In a relaxed state, in a state of love, love, bliss, relaxation, feeling safe in your own body here on earth, because you know all of this is your creation. That's what activates your blueprint. It's the frequency of true divine love, which is that of source. And that was another thing we also powerfully um, anchored into, emanated, sent out into the field with this activation and again this continues to unfold yeah this is not just about the one call and the activation this is going to continue especially over the next three days and there's obviously a lot happening in the field and there will be a lot of solar activity and this is going to help us 
beautifully along in igniting the new divine blueprint, our plasma light bodies, our superpowers, our plasma wings. Okay, it's time to fly for real and to unplug this false simulation and ignite the really real and make this physical. So it's all here now. We have to truly believe. I know that this call is going to assist us a lot, the whole collective, in anchoring in this highest consciousness of the cosmic Christ. So what I wanted to share especially was what I could see unfolding on the 6th, which was literally, um, so I explain it this way as it happened. So I was going into, you know, meditation, into working with the field, the activation. And as I do often in my activations, I connect throughout the stargates and then to source the Godhead and spend there a moment to um, bath in these beautiful oneness energies of pure true divine love. And then usually I just, you know, pull down back that energy, those frequencies, those sound and light fields into the planet and then out into the grids. And I work with that. Um, you know, it's one way of me more deeply connecting with that central, through the central column, with that source field, the Godhead, the God worlds, and bringing these frequencies, pure source, consciousness, light, the gamma rays, the cosmic rays. So anyway, as I was parking, so to say, bathing in pure source energy um, within the Godhead, I was basically shown uh, Mother, Father, God, and I've been presented to me before. And again, it's not to imagine God as Mother, Father, God as such. It's just how, again, I'm being shown symbolically the energies. And this is where we give, you know, and this is where we objectify and want to put pictures on things or, you know, categorize it or you know, we want to understand it and that's okay. This is why it's then being shown to us in those, those forms. But I also understand it's, you know, it's not a couple of people <laughs> or one old man in the sky. It's a consciousness field. It's the masculine feminine emanation from within a Godhead, but it's also one. Um, that's what I always represent to me as, or I have a few times. So anyway, Mother, Father, God presented to me kind of in their hands, a golden Christ child. So golden baby gurgling. And then I was guided basically to bring this Christ child, a golden child, back into the planet. So through the stargates, as I usually just anchor these frequencies, um, basically into the core of the earth and then, you know, place the child there, so to say. Basically as, you know, like within into the sphere of earth and then pulled out the energies and everything was flooded with gold, diamond, white light. Um, and basically the way it was shown to me was as the, the Christ consciousness has been fully anchored and is activated now fully in the grids. Because again, we've already been busy activating this and aligning with this, but this was like the full, it was also represented as the divine masculine, um, the true, you know, the, the cosmic mind principle that he represents being fully anchored in the field and is going out now. Okay, because again, through the grids, we all together make up the planetary body, okay? Everything is a hologram. The body is a hologram. The, the earth is a hologram, okay? As we shape shift, crystallize, so does the planet. They are not, you know, separate from one another. We all together make up the blueprint. And then cosmically so. So anyway. Um, so it was shown to me as the cosmic Christ consciousness, fully birthing. Basically, if I could ever put a date, if I would have to, on the cosmic Christ Having been rebirthed, returned, the second coming of the Christ, having been fully anchored into the field, it was on the sixth. Um, so the eight six eight, which truly is true divine love, anchored within the eternity, the oneness, the Alpha and the Omega. So the Christ child again represents the Christus Sophia, this new androgynous blueprint that we all representing him within our own field. Uh, and through this whole reset completing, especially the masculine feminine blueprints, kind of separating then being fully reset and then coming back together where they're now their own individual god sovereign free self have their own energy field but as they come together they also create a new a whole new energy field together but it's a both end they know themselves as you know one new consciousness field as well as uh independent also of that it's the both end the same as we know ourselves now as god sovereign free everyone else as that that's our gift to them and um, this returns it really truly to everyone as well as knowing ourselves as one. It's the both end. And that's again a bit hard to even put into words, linear words, because it's either one or the other and the right left brain 
you know, it's either is it this, is it that, right, wrong, good, bad. No, we're going fully beyond that because the real truth is beyond those concepts. So that happened. And then what I was also shown and was part of was the um, kind of the king of kings, the true divine masculine, the solar emanation. So returned uh, fully again with this Christ child being rebirth, reborn, having fully returned the second coming. Um and now becoming available to all and fully has taken over. So, and then we have anchored this again further with this call. It was part of the activation basically because, yeah. So anyway, um, and it's all part of collective activations that are happening and we just keep amplifying the field as we, you know, focus more in on it and direct the power, the superpowers we have available, especially when we come together. So I was shown then the divine masculine, basically the king of kings, what, you know, he was represented to me as my divine masculine um, and basically me um, performing a kind of baptism or also absolving um, any perceived sins. And it's like very loosely used that word, but any kind of, you know, the, the karmic load, basically, however we want to call this, okay, being absolved. So everything that has happened, so just being washed off him, um, so like a baptism, uh, like being born anew, reborn, and um, washed off everything that has happened before, so to say, and then being anointed. And that was, again, really, again, that was a really big activation in the field. And this is rolling out now. So this is the true divine masculine Christ, the solar emanation returning. I also see this as the second sun that will return. Because... It's like the two suns will shine as one again. This is the true divine masculine feminine solar principles fully returning and the true hergamic union at that level, planetary level, um, unfolding in the physical. But again, it's a hologram. So don't try and wonder how uh, I know I'm not being shown much beyond this is it. And I really had to like it. There was a lot unfolding especially and afterwards i felt a lot of volatile energies a lot of clearing a lot of fear loads of stuff just being kicked off and i could just observe you know feel it observe neutralize let go just burning off certain things i just needed to burn it off because i could see it's all here but you need to just burn off all of that energy to come out the other end and again i spoke more about this in the call so um i just wanted to share the activation that happens because it's important um to anchor and activate this further in the field, which I do with these cosmic updates. Uh, and again, it's happening within the one consciousness. So this is happening within us all. This is the true solar consciousness returning, okay? Uh, and this is what's leading now to the true divine marriage reunion party of the oneness as it's basically, you know, also the mind surrendering to the heart, them knowing themselves as one, the masculine, feminine. There's been so much going on over the last two, three days alone of these activations and final clearings and realignments. Um, you know, and you just need to be present with it. Truly, you just need to observe, see what arises, see it for what it is. Because I had more clearing of like the lack of support, and it's like, and this is actually an important point I wanted to speak on because I didn't quite explain it all as much as I could have in the call. This is one thing I wanted to expand on and is important for everyone to know because we all feel like we have not the support we would like to. Again, for us to live the lives we want to live, we do need community around. We need, you know, like-minded people. We need to build these communities that we want, you know, and this is what we're literally merging with in a very multidimensional way right now through our inner multidimensional merging process. Again, I explain more in the call. I can't cover it all here now and I've been talking a lot and I do need to get rest anyway and um, what did I want to say so say what did I mention emerging process oh, it again. again mind wiping is happening let it all go to new consciousness it's just cognition ultimately you know what you need to know in every now moment uh, uh, in the meantime, yeah, you can have these like, um, you know, just blank moments and I have a lot of them and the energies are so high. So truly the gates of heaven are wide open. 
um, we are anchoring this cosmic Christ consciousness through us being in uh, true alignment authentically with what that means. Again, it's our own unique version of that, as well as we share common ethics, morals, virtues that you just feel, okay? It's just, it cannot be put, in, put into words because that's the whole thing we need to do right now. We need to go past objectification, um, taking anything personal. This is happening from within the oneness and you need to see the perfection right now of everything that unfolded and ultimately there are no mistakes. Because everything is part of God's divine plan and we're all being played by source and source is ultimately in charge of everything, even AI and whatever else. Uh, even if some very disconnected part of that source creation thinks they are in control, they're really not. And especially now they will feel this because time is up. So this is where all unfolds as we basically fully seal today, healed the tribal shield, came back to our whole self. Again, this will unfold over the next you know hours and so forth um and again each one picks up as much as they can as well as this is a collective undertaking this is us sealing fully the blueprint and this is going to happen in no time whatsoever so all i'm seeing right now is big massive shifts and changes like i've been really like you know again clearing the whole lack of support and I could see it needed to be triggered again because I was like, why am I here again? Why is this, you know, and I could see, okay, I need to burn off more because I have so many other lifetimes. I mean, it's a whole theme of the false feminine, the false light being supported and the true light, the true feminine not. And she's mostly, you know, misunderstood, taken for the false, some dark feminine or, you know, just people jealous, hating on her, attacking I mean, there's been so much shit I had to put up with. And again, most of this is happening energetically, okay, in the field. Uh, and I can feel all of this stuff, but I also know people are being taken care of now. You know, one way or another, people are seeing when they're falsely projected onto others. And when they have hurt others, they will also feel this very deeply. And again, those beings who are not coming with us to New Earth are being right now fully removed, Okay. So now how this also unfolds on a public level, we will see because we're kind of building a bridge from the old to the new. So it's like right now you're in between worlds and it's like your head is already in the seven higher heavens. You can already feel you're no longer here in the old realities as well as some of your body is still here and it's catching up. So just pulling all of yourself through, okay? Through the portal. And right now, literally, what I'm expecting is nothing less but big, big ass miracles, big ass shifts, because there's been so much abundance that I know is going to come to us it's just like, why is it not here yet? It's like this massive, like the dam is about to break and it's going to just hit us so hard. I don't even want to be hit so hard. I would have liked this in little increments, but you know, okay, fine. The elastic has been pulled back so hard. It's like a massive tidal wave tsunami is about to hit us. And, you know, for some in a really good way and others in not so good ways, you know, that have obviously some negative karma to absorb and burn off. And this is their quick way home, one way or another. Because they don't have to roast in hell, so to say, in the in limbo, and not in limbo, what's the other thing called? Uh, that's the word. Anyway, where some of the fallen beings go after, you know, in between um, worlds and incarnations. And where, again, you need to feel what you've done to another. And we either do this whilst in a physical body or at some point later on. Um, at a more, you know, whilst you're um, not in a physical incarnation. But you need to, at a soul level, you need to absorb your own, you know, you need to bring your own blueprint in order. There's no way around it. You can't get out of this. Uh, unless right now, you know, some of these foreign beings are basically just, you know, a fast one-way ticket home. And this is an act of the grace of God because these beings are torturing others to, to feel a little bit better about themselves. You can't allow this to continue. And again, we have this is this is completion because from within the oneness, we have learned our lessons. This is done. The blueprint is in order, it's aligned, and it's fully clicking in and lighting up. And that's all there is to it. And again, the call, the activation will really help you to fully align with this. Activate this for yourself, your plasma light body, that of the earth. Fully align you with that creator state where you're just going to ask, okay, why did I create this? And there's no more victim, victimizer storylines running in your consciousness. You can see beyond it and see everything through the eyes and heart of God. And again, you know, you need to 
really listen and also apply these things. And sometimes it takes a bit of practice as well as this is like anchored in the field now. And this is a whole lot easier now for everybody to pick up. This is why we're doing the hard work for other people to pick up more easily. But we are creating these blueprints because we are the blueprint holders, okay? And again, it's happening through within the oneness. Um, but as we shift, they shift. Because we literally, the, the parents, we have birth. We hold the blueprints for reality. So we are the parents for humanity. So, you know, if something is wrong with the child, check the parents first. As they align, believe me, the child will align. So that's what's happening. As mommy and daddy are fully home, fully aligned with their true solar emanation, and it's a new state of beingness. It's not some saintlyhood, okay? Again, it's a unique, it's you half God, half human. You also count into your, you know, your humanness. You know, you're not just supposed to be God. You can't be just God-like whilst you're in a body. It's just not possible. So you need to merge the shadow and light, really own this, alchemize it, learn how to wield its primordial power, because it's the only way. You can't just want to be one thing and not accept your shortcomings or what you perceive to be your weaknesses. And believe me, every of your gifts, what you're really good at, you will also have this within you as a weakness. Nothing exists without the other, especially when anything is amplified. It's all, all about, again, individually, you just need to figure this out for yourself ultimately. And people like me can just help to guide you along on how to really tune into that intuition where you know best, no matter what anyone else says. Yes, you can to listen, listen to people's opinions, perceptions, okay? But you make the final decision as you listen to your intuition beyond all the voices because that's how, again, you distort blueprints. Every time you listen to your intuition and you follow it, you heal your blueprint, you activate it more. Every time you don't, it's the opposite. Because it's fear, it's confusion. You're not in the line with real truth. Truth is clear, it feels light, it feels good, as well as it hurts the ego in the meantime, you know, it shatters all of your illusions. But right now you need to be okay with being the fool. You need to be okay with people not liking you. You need to do the right thing. You need to speak the truth. You need to walk in truth, be the truth, to return truth, because reality depends on it. This is beyond any little ego, okay, wanting to seem a fool, what people think about you. Nobody gives a shit. That's true freedom, when you don't give a shit. And for that, you need to die. I died as well today, yesterday, another time, fully for real forever, so to say. Uh, and just to for the Holy Spirit to fully take over this show. So this is done. And you need to, again, fully surrender yourself to source, die your last death, and allow the higher God self to fully take over. And it, this is not about your little ego self, what you want, okay? This is like the only thing that should be important right now is full enlightenment. Because everything else is part of the thoughts. And that's how we access the really real and these abundant realities we've been dreaming of and have been busy manifesting already. They're already there. We just need to fine-tune our frequency to the right channel and be there now. It's a holographic quantum projection that's going to shift in a blink of an eye. It's about frequency, consciousness. And this is the ultimate quantum leap paradigm shift of the one consciousness fully completing. And I felt so many uh, downloads coming in also on the 6th. Um, after all of these Christ activations were unfolding, just massive. We're just remembering what we came here for, the real truth, real true reality, and right now, tune all the way in. So the one thing I wanted to say, and then I need to stop, um, there's so much notes and all I could share, but I'm not. Um, because this is also a theme, like that came in massive today. It's just you're really done with giving to people time, attention, energy that are not willing to step up and give back to you. We're just done with this now. It's just done. Um, so I need to really balance out, you know, how much energy I just give freely. Uh, because also often people just don't really appreciate it. It's just the way it works. Because people are just give me, give me, consume, consume, and don't really appreciate or know what this all takes. Anyway, so one of the things, how to call forth more support, because the old way of complaining, asking for more support has not worked. Ultimately, what you need to do, one part I said today is, one part I've been showing this is by your multidimensional integration, you calling forth literally your higher multidimensional self, part of this merging process, healing process, and then calling forth, visualizing your 
star brothers and sisters all around you, us around the campfire, us together with our soul tribe, us on your earth. This is where we can live the way we want to live and be in abundance because it only comes from us pulling together all of our gifts, abilities and resources and sharing them equally. Um, and again, you know, it's not about some people having a little bit more or less, like literally, I mean, this will be of no concern anymore. Okay, there will be no luck. There will be nothing missing. We won't be hoarding anything. There's just, we're always enough, never to, never not enough. It's all consciousness. Again, I spoke more about this today. So this is all part of it. Shifting the consciousness, calling this forth from within, part of your multidimensional integration. Um, but also it's really like to neutralize. Um, for example, if, you know, the lack of support is something that's obviously hard to take for me sometimes because it's going on for so long and it's just become worse instead of better as well as I know because we're going back to the start and this is how it all fell apart. People supporting the wrong things, not the right ones. You know, people just not doing the right thing, so to say, as well as it's all perfect, the both ends. But, you know, like we cannot get there if we don't support the right people, the right truth. And keep supporting the faults. That's what you keep your attention. That's what you keep co-creating. But I also know as I again shift the consciousness from deep within the oneness, which I've been very busy doing, um, everything shifts. And part of that was me just burning off my, you know, resistance to that or, you know, feeling sad about it or you know it's really hard because i know the energies at work have been all around wanting me to give up i mean that's the only thing they can try and do with us take us of course just just you know take us off our mission and right now we're remembering our true missions that goes beyond this right and wrong thinking where you remember you making mistakes you playing the role you came here for is exactly was exactly the right thing but you need to just see it for what it is see the real truth and then let it go but you again need to align because you know if there are outstanding debts so to say that you could um align further and build bridges and bring together the tribes again this is beyond people not wanting to say sorry or being ashamed or that needs to be fully transcended as you face it and break through this is bigger than you any little individual ego self I mean, the whole thing about breaking through is you then dissolving your false ego. It's like, you know, it's what has to happen. I mean, you have to align your own blueprint. Nobody can do this for you. So this is where literally people need to do the right thing because once your heart is really ignited, it will be very hard not to do the right thing. And it already must be very hard. I also tuned into these whole false AI worlds, phantom pockets that were, you know, I was flooding with light on the sixth with pure true divine love uh, and just the whole field in the masculine. And just, yeah, just bringing love into all of these loveless, heart disconnected realities. And I could see, you know, the masculine suffering when he's disconnected from his heart. These are not realities that you want to. Um, enjoy because you can't anyway now was there anything else calling forth support again believe in it now once you have burnt off all you know and this is just an example but it's a big theme for all of us so we need to call it forth from within you know kind of feel it read to reel it and um, before it's visible because again we project everything out from within so we're not waiting it to happen to then know oh it's happening no it's happening first within and then you will see it out there okay it's an inside out creation not the other way around so that's why we hold the power from within. But to get to the positive affirmation of I'm being showered with infinite abundance and all the good stuff is now coming to me, you know, is you basically clearing out all that what's running in your subconscious that's not allowing you this, which is all of this poverty consciousness programming, all of the wounds, all of the traumas. I mean, this is so much because, again, abundance is ultimately in the new realities. It's love. This is what it what it equals. Because again, money for me is not real. It's part of the fake realities. And the new realities with our superpowers fully online. Again, it's infinite abundance, like literally infinite abundance we're accessing. Because you can access any, anything and everything from within. And you can teleport, bilocate, manifest out of thin air. You don't need to buy shit. You can go everywhere very sovereignly whenever you want to and manifest anything you would ever need. Again, this is full light body activation. Yeah, This is not where everybody's ending up in now. But some of us will, and as the core of the core, the cosmic monad does this, this happens within a planetary body, and everybody else will be free from the false matrix, 
And again, the new baseline is 7D. And again, I shared more on the call. Not going to go into this now, as I'm very tired. And I need to take a break. So um, details are below in the description box if you want to access this and be part of this very quantum, you know, very powerful quantum field that continues to unfold, especially over the next three days. Truly beyond that, and truly any moment now, everything will have shifted, shape shifted. And it's happening as we shift the way we look at things, the things we look at change. And that's how we're shape shifting everything. It's, it's a total shift in perception. And you should be right now, I mean, getting what's happening to your consciousness, how your perception is shifting. Yeah. And don't look out there, what's happening there. As we shift, they shift. As enough of us shift, they shift. And that point is now. This is the collective awakening. This is the cosmic Christ fully returned, fully risen, um, and taking over all minds and hearts. Again, it's a love-based consciousness. It's beyond that just being mind-based. It's heart and mind coherence. It's everything being in true alignment with that. Okay. I think that's it. There's more, but we leave it here. So truly, as you return the truth and speak it in every now moment, free of any fear, what anyone else might think, whether you trigger them, whether they reject or abandon you, whatever else, you're free. Okay, for that, your false ego self has to die. Because only your false ego self cares if it's right, if it's wrong, what anyone thinks of you. Okay, uh, and that's true freedom. And for that, you have to die. So enjoy that. To be fully reborn, each one in their own time, 639. And just fully align yourself with that cosmic Christ consciousness, that inner freedom where you know you are the creator of all of creation and you keep shifting, pulling everything back within into your source center, your heart, to dissolve it back into, in, through, true divine love, the zero point field, neutrality, oneness. And to reset all and then project out what you really want to experience. But you first of all need to neutralize that which you are in resistance of until there's no more trigger, until you can see it all for the movie that it is, as you can see everything serving you truly. And it's always been co-created by you. So everything is perfect because everything is, source is always correcting itself, making sure certain things happen or don't happen. Um, and <laughs> truly, once you get out of the state of paranoia, because you're only having this because you feel disconnected from source and from your own creation and one another. Once you fully transcended that, we can have truly fun now, okay? As truly God sovereign, free creator beings, consciously creating what we really want to. And again, it's through the dichotomy of your full surrender to source that this happens. So you really don't have to do anything as such. You just have to follow your guidance, okay? You don't have to figure this out in your mind. You just have to follow have to just follow your intuition your heart's guidance from one now moment to the next okay especially now your connection to source is how you feel safe and where you truly remember this is all a holographic quantum projection you're projecting all of this out why you would be afraid of your own creation it's just in this in a state of madness and you know psychosis that we are so when we can't see things correctly and we're waking up from that now hooray so this is the one true collective awakening, the great reveal, disclosure, and it's happening from inside of you, the crystalline caverns, fully igniting the new technologies, the crystalline castles, gold, castles, golden cities. See everything crystallizing, every return to its true original state, you fully healed, you've returned to your highest um, state of well-being, health, okay? This is the true divine blueprint fully online. It's free of disease. It doesn't age. It doesn't get sick. It doesn't die. Okay. All right. And that's the same for nature. You, because your eternal consciousness just projecting itself out. Again, I shared a lot more on the call. We could talk about this all forever, but I'm not gonna right now. Also tune into the telepathic field, the cosmic emerald crystal diamond rosehead network. It's all here now. It's fully igniting the interdimensional stargate system, our own plasma light bodies, the diamond, white, and golden ankh body of the cosmic mother and father, fully returned, the holy trinity, fully returned, the holy family. All that's left is the holy family reunion, the weddings, okay, and big our celebration, celebrating our victory, our freedom. So aligned with that celebration frequency, which is 
just celebrating whatever arises because you understand it's all part of the unfoldment and it's been co-created by you and there's nothing to be afraid of run away from judge don't want to happen because that will just keep creating that which you don't want to happen because you're in resistance of it that's why neutrality is so important okay and non-attachment again i spoke about this more those many hours ago so tune into the field tune into the grids tune into your heart open up wide fill it with love your whole field send it out to all truly that's what heals i have not ever seen anyone healing through judgment um, you beating yourself up, uh, judging yourself, but you need to again feel all this to see it for what it is, come out the other end and it keeps going until you see it for what it is, purge it one last time and then you're done. And I know we're done now. That was the message I said. It's the last time we need to purge this. Good. Because I'm done with this. Um, and I know we're just done. It's not even coming from a place of resistance. It just, I know this is here now. And many of us can feel this again. Many of us have started to get the messages. We're going home now. This is graduation. This is completion. This is it. And this is what it is. There's nothing left to do. But ascend and fly. Open up your plasma wings. Plasma light bodies to the rescue. Our superpowers fully ignited. All of our gifts, abilities. The cosmic emerald and crystal diamond rose head network. Bringing online our true memories tribal records cosmic history records us remembering what has truly happened who we truly are multidimensionally where we're from who everybody else is uh, a version of reality free of all fallen timelines realities invasions fallen consciousness which is just what is equals okay Thank you so much for any like, share, subscribe, comments, any and all donations, any support to the channel. Truly, I very much appreciate it, um, which helps me, you know, enables me to keep going and doing this. And truly, you know, it helps me to also know that you care what I'm sharing here. Okay. And, you know, there's no greater, truly no greater compliment than shifting people's perceptions and them seeing the world totally anew and just, you know, everything makes sense. And I know I do help people make sense out of this crazy world. And this is truly what helps us here. When the heart and mind can see it clearly again and we see the divinity beyond all of the insanity playing out, come back to real truth, deeper levels of compassion, understanding, that's what heals. Not us judging, having opinions, and all of that stuff. Okay, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for all your beingness. Have a beautiful lion's gate. Have a beautiful um, moment always now. Again, in the blinking of an eye. Transcend time, space, and gravity. If you want to teleport, bilocate. You know, you want to transcend that shit. Um, as you truly, fully merge with the eternal consciousness that you are that is limitless boundless fearless and fully free i wish this for all of us this is what we came here for for let's return us to all as a state of consciousness that we embody hold anchor and emit out to all as we shift they shift see them ascended see them getting it see everybody awakening everybody healed everything returned to its original crystal liquid light state because your deepest health beliefs expectations knowing of what is true is what projects that out. Now, it's shifting one way or another, so I'm not worried about nothing. So the new normal of love, bliss, feeling light as a feather, it's here now. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to dive into this, these energies, enjoy. Keep lighting it up. Keep being, being the realest one in the room. Keep returning the truth. True divine justice and order, this is what we came here for. We are the new guardians of all new free worlds. And you want to behave like it. Otherwise, it's not going to happen for you, is it? All right, let's make it so. Rise all the way up, okay? Each one still needs to decide for themselves how far they're ascending and rising. This has not been done for you. This is a lot of art in our work. All right, now. And after this, the lightness comes. And the soft love and a whole lot of, you know, fairy tales becoming true. And the love story of the one being told all anew with one big happy ending and all new beginnings all rolled into one. All right, let's be this. Let's make it so. I see you there. Bye, bye, bye.